welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for uh, the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising this is a week of the temperance it's a art um, it's an earth energy week and the week begins from July 31st until the 6th of August in this week we have the energy of the heart which is good for you um, earth sign people and yet still we have also the energy vibration of uh, um the fire energy okay your week is uh, your week is really 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 confusing your week uh, anyway what is good there's an icon here the empress and this is good you're going to be working with so many people in this week so many people whatever the situation is it's all about work in this week whatever it is is all about work in this week okay um it's really about work whatever the situation is it's all about work in this week is is you trying to find work you are trying to you know climb um on top to find certain things in your life to you know you know really 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 find certain good aspect of starting something new in your life or you know it can be new work that sort of a thing that is coming in you have I think the ten of cups let's be sure you have the ten of cups so it's going to be a happy family whatever is happening it's going to be a happy family whatever the situation is in this week it's going to be a happy family and you have the, the page of Pentacles and I love this energy of the page of Pentacles so your family is going to be happy and the, you know the page of Pentacles is coming in to let you know that money is going to be coming to you so whatever is happening for you Capricorns you have the ten of cups and the page of Pentacles and it's going to be a positive positive week a week of positive things okay there's so many people that you're going to be working with here you have only one major arcana the number eight energies let's look at what we see we have the ace of uh, the ace there is so many wonderful energies coming in for you guys this week I'm not sure whatever is happening but you have the lovers here and the um, Empress the lovers and the Empress the lovers and the Empress or very good positive energies that are coming out the ace of cups is also here and the ace of uh, ones is also here you have the knight the knight of uh, um, starver so there's so many energies that are coming up and there is a situation that is going on with you earth people and the energy of uh, the, the the queen um, the queen um, the Aquarius the liberance and the Gemini there is a certain thing that is playing out here the fours are going to be your number you also have uh, the Queen of Cups that is playing out here the energy of the Queen of Cups is playing out here whatever it is the energy of the Queen of Cups is playing out here you have the Queen of Starver also so that is uh, the Aries uh, the Leo so there is a lot of people that you Capricorns are going to be working with in this uh, in this um, um, week so the number four is going to be here the number four is happening the number one number four and it's you know one and three is four so that is happening um let's begin your reading as we look at your week which was very strange whoever this knight of coin there is a knight of coin that is coming in your life there's a knight of coins that is coming in your life whoever is this knight of coins I'm really liking him for you guys because he's going to bring you clarity to certain things that you weren't aware of so whoever this knight of, of, of coins is coming in your life he's going to bring you clarity um, he's going to bring you clarity to a lot of stuff that you weren't aware of and this is very good so whoever he is uh, is someone who is uh, of as um, from a soul connection and he's coming in your life now to um, help you to understand certain things that you weren't aware of so this is going to be extremely good okay 
as we move on on and that you know a uh, Monday is going to be a day where you're dealing with the earth energies but it's also the energies of emotions but this is motion is that you're seeing a situation clearly whatever that has been happening you're seeing a situation clearly okay we have the ten of Stava, the ten of Stava, but with the ten of Stava, you feel as if you are vibrating with the ten of Stava, but actually, um, that's how you feel. But actually, the four of Stava, you have a strong stability against this queen of, uh, um, against this queen of. Uh, a sword so whatever you you feel as if you had a burden and this sort of a thing but now you have a very strong strong um, um, foundation against this a uh, queen of sword and yet this for some people you're where this this queen of sword you're working against so you're standing up against and so you don't want to deal with her and for some people she's very nice so it's someone who is coming in your life to help you out and you know you two have a very strong foundation whatever the situation is okay so this is good as we look forward we look at we're looking at Wednesday we have the eight of cups so the number eight is going to be also one of your numbers so you're going to have one four and eight in this week the eight of cups is here you're leaving something behind and you're receiving a positive new beginning whatever that you have been working on is going to be a huge huge um, it's going to start bearing fruits it's as if you plant certain seeds whether you are looking for a job whether your business that you have been working on and it's 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 you know the sunlight is coming up and it's going to bring you a lot of energies in this week whatever is happening so this week is all about work as I have said on Thursday we have the energy of the five of cups and um, the, the the night of 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 thing there. So you have the energy of the five of cups. Whatever the energy of the five of cups is, uh, you're looking back at certain things. But you know it's not bad looking back at certain things sometimes uh, because the night of uh, starver is coming in to help you, and you're sitting here. Um, you're having a, a you know you know the four of uh, cups twice so this you know on Thursday be aware of whatever is happening your emotion is going to be balanced out on Thursday because one of this five of cups is looking away um, at what has happened and you are having the night of of starver that is coming in with the four of cups so you know whatever your emotion balance is going to be good whoever this person is you're going to have a balanced emotion because you're sitting down there you're thinking about things and you're balancing in your, out your emotions to whatsoever has happened so you know it's going to be a profoundly good week you guys got two energies because I was focusing on something else and then I said and then my angels and guides said take two energies uh, what is good another ace you are the ace of cups so love is coming in the universe is sending you a lot of love and with this you have a, a lot of messages is going to come in so whatever you have been doing a lot of love is here um you know it's the focus of friday it's going to be the ace of cups a lot of love information a lot of information will be coming to you and you have the energy of the emperor so your materialistic aspect your financial situation whatever you're trying to nurture in your life nurturing is going to come in um to you and that is uh, um, from the ace of cups new love new love new people are going to be um, finding you a new love this is going to bring you a lot of prosperity in your life and this is going to be positive so whatever is happening Friday is going to be a good good day time it's all about work and a very emotional week and it's it, it's good you know it's good sometimes we need to have that next energies that we have here is the hangman the hangman so you're in limbo with a situation in your life whatever the this situation is whatever it, in limbo that you are in it's okay because um, I guess you're in limbo with the screen of uh, 
the screen of uh, Starbo. You're in limbo with the screen of Starbo. Whoever and whatever this is, you're in limbo with the screen of Starbo. And it can be for some people that uh, you're in limbo because you're not sure of what it is. But there is really love. It's a really a connection. Sometimes your relationships gets out of balance because of certain things, certain aspect. But this is a, a cosmic relationship. It's as if you are connected with people who you feel so at home with and sometimes the relationship is out of bounds because of other energies and other people but this is really true love whatever is happening if you're connecting with the energy vibration of this queen of swords which is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius this situation has been a situation of love okay this situation is true love whatever is happening even though this um, relationship is a little bit in unbalance and as if you know you're not feeling optimized to this relationship it's going to be okay all right just don't give up on certain relationships sometimes people are not feeling optim uh, optimized about themselves as we go forward on Sunday we have the page of stop the page of stop is here twice I think um, someone the ace of star and the page of star so the ace of star is uh, um, new things is coming into your life and he is bringing you new news of this new new um, situations um, that is going to come in your life and this is good it's like news uh, coming from afar but it's going to be a positive one as we look forward we have the seven of uh, starver the seven of starver and this is you're protecting yourself uh, from certain people and I guess you're protecting yourself from the Queen of Cups whoever this person is uh, this woman is uh, not really vibrating on the high energy vibration whoever this woman is you're trying to protect yourself from her she's a sick person it's as if it's something you saw that someone was lying whatever it was and you are have moved away from them and still they're trying to do something so you know um, just walk away do not even look at this person whoever this person is just protect yourself from this person whoever she is what I'm loving is that this week for you Capricorns is all about the work it's all about balancing certain aspect with certain people we have the um, the, the the queen of swords that you have a strong um, foundation you have a strong balance you have a, you, you know what whoever the queen of swords is is on Tuesday you have a strong position against her okay a very strong position against her um, on Monday whatever that was not clear about uh, um, someone who is from lifetime and lifetime it's a soul family it's a soul relationship that and it's with the nine of the night the, 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 the night of coins this person is going to come in your life you wasn't seeing a situation with this person and that was it so as we look we're moving on and we're looking at certain positive situation in our lives and all I can say to you this week is that whatever you're working on go ahead because it's going to have a new beginning and um whoever the queen of swords is you have a very strong um foundation against her so if you're in conflicts with the queen of sword you have a very found, a strong foundation against her whatsoever that is happening in your life in the first half of the week maybe there is you know you're not feeling um optimism there is the queen of sword the queen of uh, uh, starva and the queen of starva is um a leo person a leo or a leo or a, um, a Sagittarius person or a, a, you know an Aries person whoever this person is you know you're not feeling that connected with that person it's okay because it's a it's you know it's a cosmic relationship so it's just the angels are washing over you guys because there is an um, it's as if negative energies negative forces are trying to pull you two apart but it's as if the angels are watching over both of you and keeping you so that you don't lose faith of each other you know and and, and I, I see this happening for a lot of people because uh, 
you know, you have people, uh, other people who can't believe that two people can share a very good situation together and very good relationships. And I'm seeing this happen that whatever is happening, the angels are protecting you too. The angels are making sure that you two are connected with each other, whatever the situation is and whatever negative energies that are coming in, the angels are protecting you both. Okay. Cause you can have negative people, negative influence. Sometimes you have a girlfriend and you know, certain people do not want that you both have a good relationship and you know, they want to have uh, you two in conflicts and this is not going to happen. Whatever is happening, the universal angels are protecting you and this person and it is good. Um, Friday, it's going to be a good, a good day because the eight of uh, the eight of Stava is the energy. The eight of Stava met the ace of cup. A whole lot of love will be coming from a lot of people towards you. And that love is going to help you with your financial situation. So whatsoever that is happening on Friday, it's going to be extremely, extremely positive. Remember the seven of pentacles is governing your reading because whatever is happening, it's going to be as, as if the universal angels and guides are going to be protecting certain things in your life at this time. And it's going to be extremely good. So be aware, be positive of what is going on. There's a lot of clearing with the, the, the queen of swords, the queen of cups uh, and the four of cups energies are here. You're planning, you are emotionally balanced and you can deal with certain things in your life and it's going to be good. Okay. Let's see what the cosmic cosmic spirit have to say for you Capricorns. What does the cosmic spirit have to say for you Capricorns? And they say gratitude. I am grateful for everyone, everything in my life and the lessons each bring. I am grateful for everyone, everything in my life and the lessons each bring. I am grateful for everyone and everything in my life and lessons each brings. So is it. So this is a wonderful message to leave you guys with. Gratitude is going to be um, the energy of the week for you Capricorns. Be grateful. It doesn't really matter how, um, how, 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 whatever that situation is just be grateful of whatever is happening in your life and at this time so you have to be aware and you have to be understanding of what is happening as we look forward um we have the energy vibration not for you whatever it is it wasn't for you whatever it is it wasn't for you so it's not for you so obviously i'm going to read this because this um is good not for you. I remember um, this energy of not for you is, is, and I love the energy of the Oracle because whenever I ask these card a message over something and it says not for you, I never even ask another question. So whatever is happening, I clear knowing that something is being denied you uh, rejection is God's protection and this is good there are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something no matter how hard you work at something the result you seek always seems to be a uh, elute it's as if if it's as if you don't it's as if you don't um, really get to be in the game and you feel you're just watching from a sideline the appearance of this card indicate that you are not going to attain what you want right now indeed your dreams for that extra thing will not be fulfilled this is a time to radically accept that nothing uh, that not everything is available to you when you want to take heart for there are benevolent forces who desire the best for you and have a much um, um, cleaner idea of what is for your eyes good. Rejection is God protection. Something much better um, that will make you truly happy. It's on its way. Trust this. Okay. I love this. I, you know, in a relationships, uh, like when people ask me for relationships to read in and I am doing a relationship reading or I, the, you know, people ask me and this card comes up, I, you know, I, I definitely say, you know, 
whatever you're you're going for it's not for you so be grateful be grateful that something reject you because it's a protection from God sometimes it's not really a protection from God sometimes people blocked it but it's okay whatever it is just let it go let it go it's you know it's not for you and you know enjoy yourself life is full of a lot of surprises and know that this is um, a wonderful time for us all to be together and to understand that everything is okay I want to say namaste until next week yeah.